Hey everyone. Alright, so yeah, I've gotten quite a few requests to use 3D gold glitter, um, especially in like Halloween requests, and then in regular requests I get them every once in a while. And then someone actually sent me a photo that Misha Barton, I think is her name, was wearing in like a pilot for like the beautiful people or something, I think that's the name of the show, I don't remember, but she had a look on similar to this, it was a metallic gold lid, and then just black in the crease, but just slightly smudged out, um, so I thought I would take that, but then put my own twist to it, because I made it a little bit more dramatic with the combination of the lashes, and then I used, like, super highlight on my cheeks that actually connects to the brow highlight so yeah that's pretty much all i can say about the actual look but before i actually get into the tutorial make sure you check out the photos that are on my blog link down in the video description but with all of that said let's just go right ahead and get the tutorial started okay so the first thing that i did was i primed my uh, eyelid just with whatever primer you want to use you can use colored you can use skin tone doesn't matter. Um, you're not going to see it if you're using glitter anyways, um, or even if you're using like a colored eyeshadow. You could coordinate it with that. So pick whatever primer you want to use and go ahead and prime your lid, your crease, and then up to your brow. But now I'm going in just a black eyeliner. Any black eyeliner will do. I'm using Feline Coal Power from MAC. It's just black, so like I said, any black will do. And I'm just going to draw out in my crease. And I'm just going to take a line from the outside corner, just follow my crease and bring it into the inside corner. Now if you're doing like eyeshadow or anything like that on the lid, then you're going to want to make sure you keep this nice and clean or you can just go in later with like eye makeup remover on a q-tip and then just rub it off of your lid. But it's better to practice getting precise with things and to just be sloppy and clean it up later. So. Yeah, but now that that's on, I'm actually just going to go in with a little blending brush like this, and then I'm just going to blend out that color that's in the crease, the black. And while I'm blending this, I'm not extending the color far out, I'm just mainly blending that edge, because I want a pretty solid line of black, as you can see on that side, but I still want it faded out, I don't want just like the line, so I'm only blending it out a little bit. Now I have that. So I'm going to go in with that same liner and I'm just going to do a line underneath my bottom lashes. And then same thing, going to go in with that little blending brush and I'm just going to smudge it up. Now I'm going to go in with that liner, and I'm just going to line my waterline, and then I'm also going to tight line um, on the top. Now all the liner is on, it's blended, so I'm going to go in with the NARS Pandora Duo so I can use the black eyeshadow. And I'm just taking this on a fluffy angled brush like that, and then I'm actually just going to put this on top of the black wherever I put it, so in my crease underneath the lash line. So I'm just going to go in and pack this right on top. Then once you have that black eyeshadow on how you want it, I just put it in my crease for now. I'm going to go back in with that blending brush I've been using and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to lightly blend out the edge of this black. And then I'm just doing the same thing on the bottom. I'm just packing the eyeshadow on, and then I'll go in and blend out the edge. Now the black is on the top, the bottom, how I like it. Um, this part would be, if you aren't using glitter, you would go ahead and use whatever color on your lid you want to. I like how it looks with a lighter colored lid, like a skin tone, or just a really bright, vibrant color, so that way it's a nice contrast against the black. Um, but I'm using glitter, so I'm going to use LA Splash uh, Eyeshadow Base and Sealer or whatever, and I'm just going to do a coat of this on my lids to give the glitter something to stick to, so I'm just going to take that and just plop that right on top. 
Now, for this part before you add the glitter, I forgot to mention, you can do your false lashes first if you're wearing them. That way the glitter can fall on the back of the lashes if you're scared of getting like glitter in your eye or anything like that. Or you can do them after like I do. Um, but the glitter that I'm using is this. It's 3D Gold from MAC Pro. It's just a gold glitter, but it reflects like rainbow pretty much. It's got like red, orange, yellow, green, blue. It reflects pretty much every color. So I'm going to take that now. And I'm just going to use a synthetic brush that I put the sealer on in order to pick up the glitter so it sticks to it. And then I'm just going to take that and then very carefully press this glitter all over my lid. Now the glitter is on, so I'm going to go in and do false lashes. Um, on this eye, you can see... They're kind of spiky, but they're actually just Red Cherry number 202s that I put on. And then I went in with like this no-name brand that I get from Beatniks in Chicago. Um, they're number 301s. I don't know who makes them, but if you find them, yeah. But I just took these, and then I cut the little spike parts off, and then I just pressed like the bands of the lashes together where I wanted the little spikes and then glued it on like that so that way they're a little bit more dramatic. I know not everyone has access to like big dramatic lashes like that but right now this time of year all the Halloween stuff starting to come out you can get like lashes like this. These are just Ardell Halloween lashes. You could get something like this pair it with another pair of false lashes the same way I'm doing and then just use those. So this is a little bit more accessible to some people, but now that I have this all set, I'm just gonna throw some lash glue on it and then pop it right on. Now that the top lashes are on, I just went in and did a coat of mascara, and now I'm going in with um, individual lashes. I'm using long ones and mediums and just alternating, and then I'm just putting those on the outside corner of my eye on the bottom just to give a little bit of length and more flare down there as well. Now the eyes are done, so before I go in and make my brow just a little bit darker, I'm going to do my brow highlight and then also my cheek highlight because I'm connecting them. And to do this, I'm using one of Max Mineralized Skin Finishes. This is Glissade. Um, I'm only using this only because I can use it wet, and the reason I'm going to use it wet is because I'm really going to pack on the product, so that way it kind of looks wet on the skin and gives like a really out there intense highlight like you can see on that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my brush and then I'm just going to spray it with some water. And once I have the brush wet or damp, I'm just going to take it and rub it on the product. And then I'm going to apply that underneath the brow. Then once I have it on under my brow, I'm going to wet my brush again, pick up some more product, and then I'm going to kind of come straight down right here, out at an angle, and then scoop it around and put it on the like highest plane of my cheek. Then once I have that on, I'm just going to go in and blend out all my edges so it just fades out everywhere I have it. Now that that's on, I'm just going to go in and keep adding more and more and just packing the product on until I get how I want. Now that I have that highlight on, how I like it, you can see it's really extreme. Now I'm just going to go in and add a little bit of a cheek color to it. And I'm going to use this, which is Love Crush from MAC. It's like a darker berry color. It's not red. It's not pink. It's like a little bit of a reddish purple but more on like the berry side. And then I'm going to just lightly buff it right here into that highlight. So it'll act kind of like a contour, but also just add color. Now the cheeks are done, so I'm just gonna go on with a little bit of eyeshadow, angled brush, and then just make my brow a little bit darker.
And now that I have the trash on by Illamasqua, I'm going to go in. This is Red Velvet Cake from Philosophy. It's just one of like their um, lip glosses or whatever. Lip shine. And then I'm just going to apply this all over. And there you go. The look is complete. So yeah, hope this is helpful to some of you. And until my next video, I will talk to all of you soon. Bye.